So today we will be doing question number seven. Question number seven basically says you're given the graph of velocity versus time and based on that graph you have to figure out which one of the four answers is the graph of position versus time. So um, let's start. So first thing when we come to the graph of velocity is the parabola. And it's a negative parabola. So let's write that down. We'll do this part later. Coming to the graph of the parabola, we have zero positive side and then negative side. What does that mean? It means at this point in time, the velocity of the graph was zero. What does what does um, v equals zero mean? It means that in the graph of position, there comes a, a period of time where it's stationary. It's not moving. The velocity is zero. Okay, by looking at that graph of position versus time, we can tell which which one of these have stationary. So we can eliminate C because it's not stopping. We can eliminate D because it's also not stopping. We're left with A and B. We can see that it's stopped right here. And on B, stop right here. Position not changing over time, which means that velocity here is zero. Okay. Two things we can do next to determine which one of these is the graph for velocity. We can we can say that it's in the negative side of the graph and the velocity, so the slope of the position will be negative. This one shows a negative slope. This one shows a positive slope. So this tells us that B is the right answer. Another way we can um, no, make sure that the answer is B is that the slope of of velocity is increasing, in decreasing, 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 decreasing. It was um, negative, 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 then coming to zero, starting decreasing and coming to zero. So this tells us that B is the correct answer. The second way we can approach this problem is looking at the function. So, the, fun the velocity function is written this way. It's f of prime of f equals negative x squared. Well, we have f prime. We want s, the function of s. What is it? Well, we can use what is called the antiderivative, which is basically getting the, the function from the prime function. To do this, you basically add 1 to the exponent and divide by, by that. So it will be negative 1 third x the third power because you have 3 and you divide by 3. To explain this, what if you had the function at the first place? Well, you take the derivative, the derivative you, you will multiply and minus 1. 
to be negative x to the second power. So this is going to be so once we got the function, we can look at the graph and figure out what, which one is it. So it's straight to the third power. So we know the graph will be somewhat like this. But it's negative. So the graph will not. This and we have negative graph looks like this. And this is how you know that B is the right answer. Thank you for watching.